Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Deck Deck, and today we're playing some more Galactic Air. So, last episode, or the first episode, we've been working through the tutorial. Baz appeared right at the end of the episode, and we've got to diagnose him. So, we need to click on some sort of canister. This canister. Prioritize patient. Prioritizing oh. a patient or canister in this manner will place it at the front of any queue it joins. Okay. You should use this for, well, everything you like, really, but emergencies <laughs> in particular. So, you prioritize that. I don't know where you're taking it like, but... Has it got to go to the doctor still? That is a freaky looking thing. Oh, that is the canister. Right. So that's been diagnosed. We've got a phone call. Baz's skin is remarkable. I've already identified seven brand new proteins. This will redefine our understanding of what meat can be. Despite his freaky space flesh, I don't see why we couldn't fix him up with a new cocktail from our skin lab. Now it's time for those canisters to go in the other direction. Let's fill some up, load them into a shuttle, and hose down our new friend with a pharmaceutical cocktail strong enough to melt turbo steel beams. Prioritize these. It did say it's optional, but we might as well prioritize them, right? <clears throat> and you guys have got to come into the skin lab, and you're getting pushed in front of all the other patients. Sounds good to me. There's no hotkeys. I can't change hotkeys in this game, so we're going to leave it on faster speed. Well, I'm probably going to leave it on faster speed. What are you guys complaining about? There's no decorations down here. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You've got chairs down here. What more do you want? <clears throat> Objects. Windows. Plants. There you go. How about a nice plant down here? Does that count as decoration? It does count as decoration. We'll have a poster over this way as well. Why not? Not that we can see it, because I've got the walls turned out. What's this? Critical queue. Oh yeah, that, that makes that makes sense. Doctor assigned to this room is on their way. They're currently not there. I assume they've gone for a break. I know, I know there's a queue. I could always build another skin lab, but I don't think we need it. It's just because we've got this rush on at the minute. <clears throat> We want to be going fast. Some mean looking mollusk just entered the hospital. Yes, Mary. Uh, those are vomitungs. They'll bite any sapiens they encounter, causing their victim to evacuate their guts directly onto the floor. No, Director, don't, Mary don't do that. Mary is capable of dispatching these vomitungs himself, but if you fancy it, you can use the station's coils to eject the pests from our mortal coil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a. A little death-based pun for your private enjoyment. Thank you. So that's one of the canisters done. I assume we've got to wait for all four of them. That's two of them done. You're working on number three at the minute. Oh my god, what is it doing to them? It looks like a transformer. That is dead, lad. Just one second. The sound effects. The sound effects seem slightly too loud. <sighs> Why has my cursor changed? Oh, because I grabbed that in the background. I didn't mean to do that. Why can you do that? I've done it again. That's weird. But you can grab it through the pause menu. But anyway. I assume that's just like upset the queue. No, I mean it is spacious. Slightly decorated. What? I thought I put three in there. I thought you wanted three. Oh, unique wall decoration. 
We have got wall decorations, haven't we? And upgrades. <clears throat> upgrades people, upgrades. We've not we've not done any of them yet. Our canisters oh, are now. brimming with our new colossal regeneration fluids and waiting in your docking bay. Let's get them sent out. I can't wait to see if this works. If it doesn't, we may all be going to jail. <laughs> Exciting! The shuttle is now ready to launch on your command, Director. Where was the upgrades again? We've got some of these points. Get me one of them. Get me one of them. And we'll put this one in here. Director, waiting for launch. This one can go in here. Don't know which round it's meant uh, which way round it's meant to go. That side looks like it's got a panel on it, so. And then this room should be all three green. Cool. Right, dispatch the shuttle. The shuttle is ready to launch at any time, Director. Launch us at Baz. She's away. Keep an eye on the display, Director. We'll see the fruits of our labors any moment now. Oh, all your blotches have gone. Oh, that medicine of yours really hits the spot. Glad to be rid of that itch. It felt like there was something different about you. And there's the proof. Before I go, I collect trinkets. Things traded or earned. Mm. I find these exchanges build interesting bonds between cultures. You can kind of I see them on your bank there, dude. Stabilizing solution as thanks. Stabilizing solution? What? Blueprint. Postpone uh, ultimately... Uh, Untimely death, allowing additional time for treatment, may cause hair loss. Colossal influence, 200. Nice. Well, I'm off. Thank oh, you, Galactica. we've got Baz's I'm sign. Sure we'll, see each other soon. well, we've just treated a higher dimensional talking cetacean. I'm going to hold my breath until my heart rate comes down. And not about oh. these new organs. Maybe I'll name one after you. A delightful performance to watch, Director. The stabilizing solution Baz gave us has remarkable properties. It'll fully replenish the health of any patients you use it on. Rather handy if there are specific people you'd rather didn't, uh, uh, die. Should you ever have need of more, you can make use of the craftium we've been collecting to fabricate them from the inventory panel. 100%, 100%, 100 but they're not quite happy enough. Treatment quality doesn't look too good either. <clears throat> Director, Ms. Orion has sent over the details of a new room. Something about uh, investing in people. What a novel concept. I think this is still backlash from all the skin treatment that we were getting done in one game. Training room <clears throat> is an environment in which our staff can gain experience with safe, gentle, ethical brainwashing. With <laughs> memories of experts in their field. It can be a bit much for their neuroplasticity to fully absorb, as well as pass out which families actually belong to them. Nothing too serious, though. People can be trained with other people's memories? Can I go? No. Director, <laughs> no. our staff become their best selves, whether they like it or not. Oh dear. <clears throat> we'll get one of them in there. Uh, place more training matrixes. I... Can I get two in there? It looks like I should be able to get two in there, but I cannot. How about <clears throat> We have all of this as a training room. It doesn't tick it green. In that case, I don't care. That can go away. Um, two unique wall decorations. And add a room upgrade. Yeah, we, we won't be doing that. A fine, fresh training room. Well, let's tell the doctor in. They'll begin training immediately. What's the one uh, room damage reduction? 
me one of them. Room cannot be upgraded. What? Maybe you need specific ones. Assign a doctor to the, tra to the training room. Doctors. Assign doctor. Um, Jimothy Chandler the seventh. Get in here. Kill a patient. Achievement unlocked. Whoops. Oh, collecting them will grant you 3,500 credits. Should I zap it? That's a Solak. Uh, Director, these critters are entirely harmless. And they'll deposit a large We've had two people die. Our account when you catch them. That's why they can open accounts of their own. I'm... The banking sector is a disaster. <laughs> Hello again, Galactica. I thought I'd pop back in and offer you some of my wares as thanks for helping me out. Yeah, they kind of died. How do we get rid of the bodies? Oh, do they just disintegrate over time? That's fine. <clears throat> Lost a little bit of reputation there. Oopsie. Um, answer Baz's call. You know what? You can wait a minute, Baz. I'm sorry. Can I... Copy this room. Sorry, this this needs to move. That's my bad. You can go right in the middle. You can get copied. Another diagnosis, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, you're going to need a doctor as well, aren't you? Um, let's get another doctor. How about a human? We've not had a human yet. Um, there you go. And then they're all waiting for this at the minute. It's fine. Let's talk to Baz. Exchange any item for some credits. And just for you, there's always a freebie. Right now, Ooh. I've got a hollow dock, I think you call it. Oh, and I've also I'll take hollow dock. Bot. Found him adrift in space a while ago. He was just spinning, really. Purchase an item, and I'll transport it over to your inventory. Minus 50% income. Hollow dock, I must insist that you take it. He keeps popping into existence inside my spleen. What? The hollow dock emitter Baz has gifted us is a valuable piece of kit. A room upgrade. Place it in one of our treatment rooms and it'll kick into action. Did did you actually get trained? You go in there now. We we've we've killed another. This needs repairing. Does this sort of thing not get automated? Oh, didn't mean to do that. Want to click on this room? Does this not need repairing yet? If you've been trained or not. Anyway. Somebody else just died? Assigned doctor. Training slots, too. I don't know what I'm clicking on. It's 
save template. Ta uh, save template, I guess. Somebody else has just died. This room's broken again. We've got to place the hollow dock. I want to get another one of these rooms. Just place it there. I know it's going to leave a weird gap. If I know, place it there. Then let's place the hollow dock in here. Hollow docks are driven by advanced predictive AI. They're not sapient and thus require neither pain nor rest. This would make them perfect doctors if not for the limitations on their AI, which prevent them from learning or demonstrating any personality whatsoever. These qualities do make them excellent corporate executives, however. Have you killed somebody again? What is happening in this room? Ah, one of our doctors has leveled up. Let's take a closer look. Select them when you're ready. You keep killing people. Who's leveled up? Oh, this doctor. Level Somebody else has just died. What? Out as trainees, and upon reaching level two, you're able to assign them an expertise, Ooh. which will allow them to work far more effectively in one specific room. Select an expertise to continue. Here, you can see the options oh. for this doctor's expertise, which are based on the rooms they've worked in while in your hospital. So you've been in diagnosis, Sam. So. We'll go diagnosis. Yes, Unlock fine. you in that room. Try to assign experts to the relevant rooms. It'll help keep your patients alive and your workforce content. Yeah, you do seem to be killing a lot of patients at the minute. Especially this room over here. It's not good. It's not good indeed. Whoops. Director, something we haven't yet covered is Medibot modes. Hey, that's me! Yes, it is, Medi. Well done. Uh, Director, select a Medibot to continue. That one. Here, we can see the configuration of this Medibot. Adjusting this will focus them on specific mm. tasks. You can also use this window to change the appearance of your medibots in the event that you share that particular fascination with our previous director. So let's have one that's on room maintenance. And with that, let's have one on corridor maintenance. Protocol. Excellent work. And then the others can prioritize cleaning. How do I see these guys normally? Can I just cycle through the medibots? You may claim you're on a wall. No, we'll leave, we'll leave them as they are. Can I not cycle through them? Board at any time, director. Hopefully now they'll at least be able to keep the rooms maintained. <clears throat> oh, my reward. We can now make them. What's that other one we just got? Oh, efficiency regulator. Brings in more cash. Let's put one of them in... Here. Can you put more than one? Nope. Nope. Receiving a call from Dorian Salazar, the CEO of Salazon. You can have one of them in there. Hollow Dark. Yeah, we can't we can't put any more anywhere. Salazar is I know! I'm looking around. Notoriety, so it may be worth finding out what he's up to. Who just killed? How did this room break down? Staff overview. All. Medibots. Ah, that's better. We'll go like that. It doesn't necessarily matter. Who does what? The They're all the same. Is still ringing. Yep. I know he is. Oh, have you all got level ups? Right, you get locked in there, and you're going to be diagnosis. Hello. You've been working in the bone lab, so the boning chamber, sorry. You've been working in the skin lab. Hey. 
That's all of our current staff, right? And they are all currently locked. Dorian Salazar has begun playing the kazoo while he's on. Oh, is he? And I'm unable to make it stop happening. That's nice. Right. I'm I learning. Drunkards can't even answer the bloody telephone. Uh, oh, we're off. Rude. Greetings, Galacticares. This is Dorian Salazar, CEO. With which space creature am I speaking? Mr. Salazar, a very <clears throat> fine day to you, sir. You're through to the director's office. If you're a robot, well, that's a daring hire. Listen well, computer boy, to my terrible problems. My workers were performing an orbital trash discharge, and in a totally unforeseeable disaster, they were coated in unknown sludges. After they completed their assigned shifts, an intern noticed that their bodies had walked into some manner of transparent slime. Mm. Here, then, is my offer to your fine company. You're able to keep some workers alive for their shifts tomorrow. I'll send you some space money. Of course. We'll send over a contract and then... Stop. If that won't what? be necessary, good luck to you and goodbye. Well, that's delightful. Uh, Director, it sounds like we're in for an influx of emergency patients. Chattered arm, star warts, cranial fracture, aroma borealis, space inva invasion, invasion even, regiolithic, deteriorate fairly slowly but will eventually perish if neglected for too long. I can't build any more rooms yet, can I? Nope. Director, the emergency patients from Saladon are now arriving, and they're in a wretched state. We'll be lucky if most of them don't drop dead in the corridor. Let's save as many as we can. Be sure to prioritize them so they're seen to as quickly as possible. Right, how do you prioritize again? Where's the button? Are you a doctor? Right, they've all been prioritized. I think now's the time to use that stabilizing solution we received from Baz. Is it? Oh, there's three that we've stabilized. I mean, we have got two research places. Why is this room look very grayed out? Hmm. I thought these were in the middle of the corridor. I mean, technically, they are in the middle if it finishes there, but it doesn't, so... Yeah. Anyway. We've got two of these. How are two skin labs not enough? Room contains a casualty that needs to be removed. You mean it contains a casualty? Not enough benches. I can give you another bench. There you go. Have a seat. You guys don't seem to be able to sit down right there. Is it jellification they've got? I don't, I don't, I don't have a clue. I'm surprised more people aren't complaining about other stuff. <clears throat> Oops, that's the pause menu. We don't want the pause menu. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, if I could make the game go faster, I'd make the game go faster. They're being treated right now. Hello. Surely they're cured. It's two percent. This is Dorian Salazar expressing some legally mandated gratitude that you managed to save one of those workers. 
Their colleagues appreciate you. Keep it up and so on. Oh, I should have cured two first and then used the potion on the last three. Rest in peace to that plucky fellow. Oh. I pretend to be angry about their excruciating death, but I think we all knew it was on the curve. Where's the hollow dot gone? The hollow dog doesn't seem all that good. We've cured two. Well, we've saved two. I mean, we shouldn't really have any massive queues at the minute. That one's got a queue of nine. Right, we've got all this extra cash. Let's buy ourselves somewhere new. Can I... Which one is it? Director, consider placing some vending machines. If feeding our patients isn't reasonable enough, remember that they also generate revenue. Three of those workers have now informed us that they'll be ready for work in two hours. Rather better than expected. Uh, I don't upgrade. Saves us a good bit of time on ordering new interns. Oh, I want the cash one in here. If but No, it doesn't matter. And you have already got one of these, right? Yeah. Give me this. Sorry, I just need to just need to move this a minute. I was trying to click and hold on it, see if that would let me move it. There we go. We'll barely have to pay any compensation to their aggrieved relatives. Your right. Dosh is in the tubes, along with a coupon for my preferred moustache oils. <laughs> okay. There's a load of benches for you. And then in the middle of the hallway, I'm just going to randomly have a vending machine there. And then back to back to it, we'll have another one there. Make sure to collect your awards when ready, director. Couple of bins around the place. And a couple of toilets, I guess. Beautiful. Right, next up. Your focus is exceptional, Director. Shut up. I'm busy. <laughs> Can we move this one? That one in there. Move this one. Director, you have rewards waiting to be claimed. I will mute you, sir. We could make them slightly bigger, but no. I know I'm killing people by doing what I'm doing. Copy me this room. Get me another one there. Add a room upgrade. Let's have a hollow dock in this one. And let's add some benches. One there. One there. We can have a smaller one. Ooh. Ready? There we go. Some benches. And we can have some food things. I realise I probably said food things for the drink things, but whatever. Alright, so we've got two different wings now for treating people. You need a doctor. Hmm...
Oh, hi again. There you go. Give me this reward, for God's sake. Ooh, 750. Not bad. Complete chapter one orientation. Director, I'm up to my pineal gland in new data. Either that or I'm overdosing on hypercalf. I'm going oh. to dive right into genome mapping Baz. His cells keep phasing through the collector, so it might take a bit of tinkering. Here we'll apprise you of our next job. But for now, thanks for making this real. You're bringing our dream to life. As somebody now, dies in the let's background. Change the galaxy. Excellent work, Director. Mother Ryan seems thrilled, and we've already booked another contract. A music festival in Earth space, if you can believe it. What's a music festival, Heal? In this case, Medi, I dread to imagine. Earmuff mode on standby. I'd rather your circuits weren't blown out by exposure to odian harsh noise. <laughs> Director, should you prefer to hang about and continue working in your fine hospital, we'll remain on site with you until you choose to move on. As you wish, Director. Whenever you're ready to leave, simply return to the galaxy map, and we can move on to our next job. Raise hospital rating to five. That's what we need. After completing this story in each level, you can continue building and improving your hospital in sandbox mode, potentially unlocking even further rewards. You can also return to any hospital later on from the galaxy map and continue playing in sandbox mode, and several... Uh, and several dedicated sandbox levels will become available as you progress through the campaign. <clears throat> I want to get this to five stars. Review each tab for information improving your hospital rating. Unlock special rewards when completed levels. Uh, complete le com blah, blah, blah. When you complete the level and reach whatever. So most of them are dying through waiting. Or oh, while they're waiting, should I say? Patience, what's up with you guys? Patient moods. A long queue. I mean, the queue should start going down. Um, can we... Just move this over this way. I know you need a door. Then can I copy this one and throw it over this side? Ooh. As you treat patients with a condition, your understanding of it will grow and it will become easier and safer to treat. You can consult the Pathodex in the Galaxy menu. Lovely. Just make this staff room a bit bigger and a bit quirkier. Add a room upgrade. We're okay, thank you. There's a staff room for you. Dr. Femrin's Tibia, forensic osteologist. You may be able to help me with some scientific research. I am an expert in bones and would love a chance to study your boning chamber technology. Uh, you're an expert in bones. If you're willing, I'd love any data you can send me from your boning chamber treatments. My institute will happily pay you for any data you gather in support of my work. <laughs> Apologies, just uh, getting it all straight. Your work is bones. Yes, and I'm very good. After completing a level, you can unlock special rewards by reaching two, three, and four stars. We just reached three stars. I'm, I'm just copy-pasting a few different things. I know, I know, it's looking a bit weird being set back like that, but it'll be fine. Um, experience gained reduced. That one seems like one... Reduce research generated. We'll go with them. And I've got a load of new things, like this flower bench. New poster. You may want to get back to Dr. Tibia, Director. Scientists so rarely have the budget to afford our services. I know, but people are dying at the minute. Bye. And they're all complaining now that there's no decorations anywhere. Benches count as decorations, right? That bodes well for me. I 
And you can see it getting slightly greener on the floor. Oh, the bone zone. Great. Just do whatever you people normally do, and I'll dive into the findings after. You'll have enough data on broken bones to cover even the very worst sport-related riot. I don't know what that means. No. But sure. I don't either. There's a toilet, there's a toilet. I'm now looking at the grids on the floor for placing things. What are you upset about? This area is not decorated at all. I know it's not. Are they concerned about what I throw down? Keep in mind that the more boning chambers we have, the more data we'll gather. I confess I can't quite wrap my head around why someone would study bones, but to each their own, I suppose. Yeah, I don't I don't tend to get too concerned with throwing things everywhere. Just slap them down, they'll be fine. Although if all these need watering. Plants were a bit of a problem on Two Point Hospital. And then there was the unique stuff, wasn't there? Just gonna slap a few of these around the place. Hey, if that does it for you, you're happy. I'm happy. Patients are arriving now with all manner of skeletal injuries. Oh, what is that what bench there for, Stump? I can't wait to see their bones. <laughs> it's it's so important to have hobbies. We're up to three and a half stars. Oh Christ, we're nearly at forty minutes. I'm gonna have to leave this episode off here. We're gonna get this to five stars, don't you worry. I think we need a better reception for the ne next episode, and this training room can go back into this area. I think. I don't want patients walking back that way. And you can bet your freaking bottom dollar that they'll walk that way if I open it up. Anyway, that's where we're leaving it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated. As always, and other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!